morning, friends. It's Miss Hoffman. Today we are going to learn step by step how to draw otters. And the reason why I chose this is the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens are doing the uh, free safaris every day on their Facebook page. And this week they did one on otters. Their otters that they have in their zoo are named Wesley and Sugar. So I thought we would draw little otters to represent. Wesley and Sugar today in our little cartoon otter drawings. And the otters at the Cincinnati Zoo are river otters and uh, they're common to the area there around Cincinnati. So I thought that was interesting. If you watch that uh, little zoo safari, you learn all different kinds of things about them, about their fur, about how they can survive in the cold winters because of their thick fur. There are 13 different species of otters and you learn a lot of things in that video. Now, in our cartoon, we are going to draw Wesley the otter and Sugar the otter, and they're gonna be floating on their backs and holding hands. I think it's interesting that otters sleep on their backs when they're in the water, and they will link hands when they're in the wild. Now, I don't know if they do this as much in the zoo, but if they're in the wild, otters will link hands or arms with, or paws with their whole family, and they'll drift and sleep on their backs in the water holding hands with all their family members that way that they do not drift away from their families while they're sleeping and they uh, they call that a raft. They will create a raft of all the otters. And so I thought that would be a cute way to show our otters holding hands with each other. So we're gonna start with Wesley the otter. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start with a circle for Wesley's head. And Wesley is the male otter at the Cincinnati Zoo. All right, remember if I go too fast to pause me, I would do all these steps in pencil first. Ms. Hoffman's using a marker just so you can see the steps a little easier, but I would do pencil first, and then if you want to have that cartoon look, you can go back and do all your outlining with a black marker. Okay, next we're gonna do a little rainbow arch on the side of Wesley's head, and another little rainbow arch inside. Same thing on this side, and that's gonna be Wesley's ears. Next, we're gonna do flat line down here. That's gonna be the top of Wesley's nose. We're gonna bring it down like a letter V, so it's gonna look like an upside down triangle. So down, down. I'm gonna go ahead and color that in black because that's what color it's gonna be. You can do that in a minute when you start coloring, but just to give you that visual picture. And then we're gonna draw his little chubby cheeks. So we're gonna go from the corner of his nose to kind of the bottom of this triangle. We're gonna go circle shape, circle shape, okay. And then just draw a little line right here and color it in for his mouth. Next, we'll do some whiskers coming out and a few dots in this area. Remember if I'm going too fast to pause me. Now, I'm gonna draw Wesley's eyes open and Sugar's eyes closed like she's taking a nap. Okay, so for Wesley's eyes, but you can do your eyes any way you wanna do them, I'm gonna do two circles, try to keep them symmetrical, which means same on both sides. And then I'm gonna do a little circle for a light reflection, a little circle for a light reflection. And again, you can break out your fancy cartoon drawing, uh, cartoon eye drawing skills here if you want to. I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple. And I don't color in that light reflection when I color in his eye. And do little eyebrows. Okay, now I'm gonna start his body. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to start off by just curving around about halfway. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and this arm's gonna kinda be tucked across his belly. So I'm gonna go in, out, do a couple of lines. And then we want his other arm to look like it's linking up to Sugar's arm. So we're gonna go down, up, kind of like a U, up like a U, around and in. We can draw little lines in that paw too. 
Now that we have that arm in, we can bring this around and connect it up here. Now, to do the little tuft of fur inside Wesley the otter's belly, we're gonna go a little tuft of fur down, tuft of fur down, tuft of fur down, and you can do it straight, like a straight line or a little zigzag so it looks a little furry. I'm gonna stop right there, and I'm gonna do rainbow arch shape, rainbow arch shape for his little feet tucked up with little lines in them. And then I'm gonna continue that zigzag line motion all the way up. Okay, now I'm gonna bring his tail out and in. And now Wesley is ready to be colored in. And when I colored in Wesley, I used a brown for his fur and like a yellowish oranges color for this, but a yellow or a peach would be good for the other parts of the fur. Now we're going to draw sugar. First, I'm gonna start with her hand that's kind of looped to Wesley. So we're gonna kind of go like this. Draw her hand and I can bring it up and attach it to start attaching it to a body right here. And then bring her around and up, kind of like a big tall U. All right, now on top of this, before I get any further, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle for her head. On top of her head, I'm gonna do rainbow arch, rainbow arch. Rainbow arch, rainbow arch. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do her nose, flat top. Bring it in like a triangle. I'm gonna bring it around like a circle. Around like a circle, connect it to the bottom and draw a little black spot right there for her mouth. Same thing as we did for Wesley's over here. We're going to give her some little dots and some little whiskers. Now you can make her eyes open if you want. Drew little cartoon eyelashes if you want to. Remember cartoons don't have to be super realistic. I'm going to make it look like she's sleeping. So I'm going to kind of do rainbow arch shape and make it a little thicker. Rainbow arch shape. Look like it's a little bit thicker. And I can still do some little eyebrows up here. Okay, now I have to go back in and add her hands and her feet. So I'm gonna go, just like I did with Wesley's, I'm gonna bring Sugar's arm in and out. Do some little lines, and her other arm's already kind of tucked up holding on to Wesley there. And then I'm gonna bring around her fur all the way around till I get about down to here. I'm going to do a rainbow arch for her foot, rainbow arch for her foot, draw some little toe lines in there, and then I'm going to bring a tuft of fur the rest of the way up. I'm going to draw her tail curving out. Didn't leave a lot of room down there for her tails. I can draw some little lines in the water, rippling around. Maybe they're kicking, they were kicking their feet and the water's rippling a little bit. Okay, and when I colored this, I just did a solid blue background to look like water, brown fur for uh, Wesley and sugar, and like I said, a yellowish fur for the belly and the inside of the ears and the cheeks. But you can do it any way you want. You can even give them a couple little hearts. Make it a little extra cute there. Okay, so you can add your own details, make it any way you want. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're tuning in to those free safaris. They're just so much fun, and I've learned so much about animals with my girls during this time. I miss you. I hope to see you soon.